so that you learn from them. It's very, very important. This thing that is you are seeing or you are hearing all over the places that Titan is wrong, the Titan is, it, will, it, will, it will endure, it will, it, will never, it will never stand the test of time. It will fade away. It will not stand. Hear me very well, it will not stand. Anybody that comes against Titan soon will come against the communion. Are you hearing me? Because there are two things that um, we saw between the um, Melchizedek and Abraham. The Bible says he gave him the bread and the wine and then he gave him the tithes of all. He, he gave him the bread and the wine which is a symbol of the communion. And then he gave him the tithes of all. So when you tell me that tithing is wrong, then soon you will come and say communion is also wrong. And that is why, you see, we must teach in this area so that you will not find yourself wanting when you hear people making noise in that area. For instance, Jesus Christ, if communion is wrong, Paul will have said it to the church of Corinth. The time they were practicing it wrongly, he will have said to them that, listen, this is not, um, it's not about eating and drinking, but it is about sharing or hearing the word of God. Yes, when we hear the word of God, like this morning, we are communing. We are sharing. Are you hearing me? We are, we are communing. We are eating. Because when you come to spirits eating, the, your spirit eats through belief. What you believe is, what your, is the food or the word that your spirit has eaten. The word your spirit eats forms your belief. So whilst we are sharing this morning, we are working on our belief system. So we are eating. Are you hearing me? But that does not rule out the communion table. Because Paul said to them, he said, you eat and you drink in an unworthy manner. And he says, when you come together, wait for one another. That is love. Again, it boils down to love. We should wait for one another so that we all participate in it. That some people will not eat and be satisfied whilst others will not have nothing to eat. So you see, whatever, the, the, the Bible is clear on subjects like this. Don't be carried away. There are so many people who are offended because the church is doing well. There are so many people who are offended because the church is doing well. Hear me very well. The drunkard will never use his money to support the kingdom work. They will love to sit, buy drinks for friends, which they know at the end of the day will destroy them, but they will buy it. The world will never come and sponsor kingdom work. They will use the money to clap. Are you hearing me? Okay, we, I have my money. I decide to use my money for the kingdom work. What is the problem with the world? It is my money. I tithe. It is my money. So I heard somebody saying, pastors are thieves. What? Thieves? All the fathers of faith, they are all titans. Okay. They themselves tithe. So if it is wrong, why would they practice it? They've done it over the years. And the results are evident. Tell them about the results are evident. Can't you see what God is using the church to do in these end times? We are going to do more. Tell them about we are going to do more. The church is going to do more. Watch it. The church is not only going to influence uh, the school system or the academic systems. Listen, the church is going to cut across every area. When the church, okay, when the church entered into this uh, uh, academics, the church is doing very well. Only many schools. The church entered into health, building hospitals. Are you hearing me? The church will soon 
enter into other areas of society. And the church is going to do well. I hear you. Tell me about we are going to do well. Oh, tell me about we are going to do well. So this morning, I want you to understand that God shed his love abroad in your heart. And it is the love that will compel you to be able to walk as a child of God. To live the Christian life. It is this love that will direct you. Listen to me. You cannot evangelize Christ without the love of God. They insult us. They say evil things against the church. We still go to them. We still present the gospel of love to them. Are you hearing me? They say evil things about us, but we still love them enough to preach the gospel. Why? Because the love of God compels us. So, from today, get to know that the love of God is in your heart. And begin to work in it. Put it to work. Forgiving somebody should be the least thing you consider. Let me tell you something. That you see Christians fighting one another. No. We don't fight one another. Nothing should cause you to fight. Nothing should cause you to fight. Nothing should cause you to hate. There are so many Christians who, whose prayers are hindered. Why? Because they, are, they, they walk in hate. How can you hate somebody? How can you hate somebody? No. I've passed that level. Oh, let me hear you. I've passed that level. I've passed the level of hate. Walk out of it. Walk out of it. A lady said to me, said, I will never forgive him. For what he did to me, I will never forgive him. Say, what did he do? Pastor, he broke my heart. Okay, okay, okay. Who, 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 <laughs> who gave him that heart? You gave him your heart. That is why he was able to break it. So take back your heart. Keep your heart. This, this, listen to me. This thing you've been doing that we have been advising you. That a man just wants to you, I love you, I love you, this thing. That love is not what I'm sharing about. Oh. Are you hearing me? If you're if you a young man in this room, listen to me. Don't let that, um, that word love direct you to a woman. Agape will find you a good wife. Unconditional love will find you a good wife. I have told you severally that, listen to me, what you have been hearing people saying out, out there concerning relationships and other things, most of them are a bunch of lies from hell. Are you hearing me? I say it confidently. Most of them are lies from hell. 